And there we are again with a match between M5 and NextKZ. Uh, we have uh, two matches today. We just had one where NextKZ was able to take the win over M5. And we're going to see if M5 this time is going to be able to take the win back to make it uh, an even score between the two teams because there's two matches today in total because it's a league session. So you get like a point for winning and a, uh, no points for losing. The, uh, and like the team with the most points at the end of the season wins wins money money even so uh that's what the goal is winning surprise uh we have m5 this time on the dire side which means uh next case will have the first pick and the radiant side and we already have some bands in there uh and then five actually uh the previous game they had banned out a morphling and an anti-mage just making sure that vegas was not able to vegas wow that mantis was not able to play his uh his famous um famous morphling and his famous anti-mage uh, but now, well, actually, they ban out the Morphling, but leave, leaving the Antimage in there. They are reckoning that they can deal with that one if it gets picked up in the first three picks. So, banned out so far. Uh, we still have an Invoker in, by the way. We still have a Furion in, and M5 would be able to pick both of those up, as we have a Darkseer ban out, Le Shrek ban out, and a Crystal Main ban out for next KZ. So, that's a lot of pushing power and some Teamfight ban out for next KZ. And M5 banning out a Brewmaster Lycan, and that Morphling that Mantis likes to play. And we have a... Furion and a Windrunner picked up by M5. Queen of Pain is going to be the answer to that one by next KZ. And the Invoker too. Because, of course, if you have that jungle hero, you need to have a solo lane. So pick up Crystal Main and you need to have a mid solo lane. And they are going to have Invoker for that one. So looking for some early game gankage as well as some... Well, some utility in Invoker, I guess. And there's M5. Vegas is going to be able to play his Night Stalker. That is, of course, his signature hero, so that uh, should be a good game regardless of... Uh, well, it should be a good game regardless, of course, but still. Uh, it's always fun to watch him play play a Night Stalker. We have a Windrunner ba uh, pickup as well. So uh, M5 securing that one as we have a ban out for the Sand King. They don't want to have to deal with that one again. And Anti-Mage still able to get banned out as well. As there is two supports banned out from NextKZ. They know M5 still needs those supports. And they ban out the Sha Shadow Demon and the Venomancer. Uh, both heroes who were in previous game, by the way, uh, on opposing teams, though. So, so far, what do we, what does the next KZ need? They need a dual lane. So they need a hardcore support. They could probably going to go for Crystal Main since they ban out some other supports. Instead of that, unless they really want to go for... Now oh, there's the Crystal Main. I was going to say, maybe they want to pick up a Vengeful Spirit just in case M5 still picks up that Enigma, which they could do, because then they could soul in, uh, they could soul in all these three heroes that they have so far. They can soul in. They could pick up the Enigma if they want to. Send them in a jungle, having PGG in the jungle, and uh, soul lane for the Fur Furion, and soul lane for the Windrunner, and Nightstalker maybe being on the dual lane. It Radius yeah, team so, told you so. So at least M5 getting two of their signature heroes now. Of course, Blood Angel's not going to be able to play his uh, Darks here because that one's already banned out. But M5 already happy about having these heroes. Beastmaster are going to be picked up by next KZ because they notice, okay, uh, we need some... We need some counter push because look at M5's lineup. They have Enigma and they have a Furion. Both of these can produce minions and... Both of these are going to be able to push very hard uh, as soon as they're well, as soon as they're level three or something, level four even, around that level if they want to, if they want to. That's the, that's the question. But Beastmaster with his access is like a counter pusher for that one. Same as Queen of Pain though. Queen of Pain maybe even a bit more aggressive. So uh, M5 last pickup. They're going to have to pick up a support probably. Maybe go for a Vengeful Spirit. Maybe go for something entirely yeah, different fine. if they want to go for, uh, give support roles to something like a Titan, or if they want to go for support role for oh, Age Depression. I did think about the Age Depression like a second before they pick it, but you know, they think about those things faster than I do, so that's going to be uh, the case here as we wait for both teams to pick up their heroes so we can go into this game. So, Age Depression is going to be the support for M5, it's going to be supporting uh, Vigas on his Night Stalker most likely. On the mid lane, maybe even maybe on a, maybe on a, on the side lane, but it could be a mid lane. As for um, as for next KZ, I mean they have the crystal main, and in theory she doesn't really need to support anybody because uh, Beastmaster, Invoker, and Queen of Pain will be able to deal with themselves on the on on a lane. They can they can take care of themselves. So they don't really need anyone anybody there. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. 
there we go. Took, the, took them long enough. So we're going to switch overlay so you can actually see the whole map and nothing but the map. Sorry. Good long have fun both teams indeed as we're going to see what, well, uh, we might have a pause incoming because one from F5 has not picked up his hero and it's got to be Blood Angel who was, uh, he's supposed to be playing that Age Depression. Maybe he just doesn't want to play the Age Depression. I'm not going to pick up the Age Depression. Sorry. Silence. Oh, what? Hey, lag spike. Whoa. What? That's not what I expected. So no, no Night Stalker for Vegas. Vegas is gonna be playing that Windrunner. PGG still on his uh, on his Enigma, but it's gonna be Silent that's gonna be playing the Night Stalker. Gonna be supported by uh, Blood Angel on his Agent Apparition, and Admiration is gonna be going to into that four as well. No, he's not gonna be going into the force. He's gonna be going on that bottom lane with uh, Enigma in the forest, most likely. And the reason they choose to have Enigma in the forest over a night over a Furion is because Enigma is able to farm faster than the Furion in the f in the forest. He's gonna be he's uh, one of the fastest farmers uh, combined with uh, with the Lycan. So for next KZ, who do we have here? Oh, they change their name like every time again. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter because we have uh, we have Mantis playing that Invoker. We have Stalkat on the Beastmaster. At least he's keeping his name normal. Thank you. And the first rune is not on the bottom lane, but it's on the top lane. It's gonna be the knight by trade. It's a regeneration any anyway, who cares? Both feet on Shen, just to harass though. Just to make sure he backs off. Even though Enigma would have been there, if it, if it looked like a kill, he would have been able to spec that Malefice if he really wanted to. So, we have Mantis there, yep, we already saw that one. Uh, and this is gonna be Lucky, who's gonna be playing the Chen. Well, this is gonna be... I don't know. Well, this is M570, another cold feed. There's a Malefist. This is gonna be turning into a first level. Crystal Main is Nova, we'll stop that from happening. And that is Enigma picking up Malefist as his first pick. Uh, probably, uh, well, it would be worth it if he had the first lot with it, but he's not gonna, it's seemingly not gonna have that one. Cold feed again. Enigma doesn't want to be there anymore. Even though we got some, uh, oh, Chen. Oh, Blood Angel. Yeah, I say that all the time, okay. Wintron again the first blood, and she came from the side. Oh, Is she gonna be able to get a Chen too? Is Vigas gonna have a great start here, or what? If she's gonna get another kill power shot, not taking the kill though. She'll, though, no, no, five seconds on a Windrock. She's not gonna do that. She's gonna go back to the middle lane to farm against this Invoker, which is there too. Who does not want to uh, risk overextending too much, because he knows that Wintron is gonna be coming in from the side. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be equal. Equal on the Queen of Pain. Or something like that. That's what I'm expecting anyway. But then again, they have they have weird names. If they want to be called for who they really are, then they should name themselves like it. As far as uh, this goes, only Stalk have really got his own name. And he's chasing admiration out of this forest. Well, not out of this forest, out of this lane. <laughs> so he picked up Axis and, uh, and Call of the Wild. <laughs> These are extra last hits. That's cool though, it's cool. So later indeed, N Invoker versus Vigas on his Windrunner. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, Beastmaster versus a Stalkat on his, uh, sorry, Beastmaster versus Admiration on his Zinish Prophet. Haste. We're gonna have Queen of Pain versus a dual lane. Well, semi tri lane, and then Nygma is gonna be waiting for till he's level 2 with pushing that before he goes into the jungle. Oh, Silent taking a lot of damage, cold feet on the creep though. That must not be intended from Blood Angel. There is a self available for Night Stalker, who will probably pop it as soon as the dagger is gone. Sunstrike! No. He must be really happy right now. So we are gonna see an Exhort Invoker. Yes, we are. Quest Exhort Invoker. And uh, Queen of Pain is gonna be able to harass Vigas a lot because Blood Angel, having used all of his mana on, uh, well, getting the first blood in the end, so that's a good one, I guess. Oh, hello, Crystal Maiden. Uh, he, he can't harass. Oh, he can harass. He definitely can harass. If the full cold feed would have been here, though, that would have been a first. There would have been a kill. But this seems like a kill on Blood Angel. Crystal Main, Queen of Pain, blinking in, getting the kill with one right click. <laughs> nice evil laugh from her. This Chen is uh, in the forest too. So this is now a tri lane versus tri lane, semi tri lane. As Enigma is still continuously pushing. Did now spec as a mono conversion, but did not have the greatest start of his life with uh, specking Malefice first, not getting the first lot with that. Even though, of course, the first blood still fell. Oh, Admiration's gonna take a lot of damage. He's probably gonna get a queue off Stalka. Stalka going down. Admiration taking the advantage over, over the lane. 
There's Proud being there to lock him in place. To lock Starcat in place. And you just look like, uh, like Sissy were doing something on this top lane, but they weren't, so it's cool. And Mant is gonna be up first the wind runner. That we already saw. So far, nothing really exciting happening, of course. Uh, Vigos. But is, uh, is gonna be, uh, well. It's gonna be uh, having a head start because he took the first blood. Eight, sorry, got distracted by the chat. That's uh, that was ha that's what happens. Uh, eight for three right now uh, for him for last hit, so not doing all that great. Uh, nine for five on the Evoker though. He's definitely not uh, getting the most of it there either. So a lot of the well, five denies for one and three denies for the other. So not that great. Then again, it's only minute four. But still, I'm probably gonna see. Yeah, Beastmaster being on 17 right now, and Admiration gonna TP to his base because he doesn't he can't take it anymore. Cannot take it anymore. An age depression is... Where is he? Oh, power shot. Cold Snap is not going to do anything though, or is it? He can't really chase to the tower, can she? One last hit? No. Because there was a self in time and PGG not being there in time to pop a, uh, a Malefice up on him. In the meantime, age depression taking a frost by taking a lot of harassment. He's going to go down. Chen taking the last hit with a test of faith. Sound unworthy. And that's the second time Age Depression goes down, so two kills for next KC so far. And um, so far Radiant's both of them are on Age Depression, so he's not having a really Radiant fun time. Are fortified. Of course he was present in the first blood, so that's uh, it's not all bad. And then uh, it looks like this tower is gonna be uh, pulled. Eidolons doing so many attack. damage already, he's level 2 Eidolons. Beastmaster gonna take care of some Trians. There's a donkey. Flying, flying through, just passing through, and a smoke up on next KZ. If they come up from this side, they will have a lot of space to kill off PGG, and that's what they want. That's what they're gonna get. Also, Tessivate's all it needs. Well, Tessivate in two attacks, Clap helping out, Chen taking care of Enigma as Beastmaster is taking care of Nature Prop at the same time on the bottom lane, using his roar for that, using his access for that. Get him some right clicks while the target was roared. And uh, ta target down. So we do have a tower down though. First tower in the game going down in favor of M5. So with that we will see the gold difference uh, spiking a bit towards M5 as we do now. As we did. You know, two kills were taken uh, straightly after that again. Nature Prophet being back there. And they want to push this tower. They have Enigma there. They have Nature Prophet there. They have even Night Stalker there who wants to, he wants to get a kill. It's night time. Oh, there he is. Malefice, Void, and he is gonna drop. And oh, Donkey, are you careful or what? There we go. Night Stalker taking the last hit, so good kill for Silent to have in the first night. And they're gonna be able to take down this tower or at least do a good chunk of damage to it if they want to, even though the conversion is far away. Are they really gonna be able to do something here? There's the creeps. There's still some islands up. He's gonna send one tray on to, uh, all the way uh, towards the base of the radiant just to chase the, to just to kite the creep wave away. Look, it works perfectly. Just well, okay, this is, this is a bit of a weak creep, so it doesn't work that perfectly. But it does later creep wave, uh, wave enough to be able to take down this tower. Windrunner taking a queue up on the crystal maiden here, where she died. And Windrunner not even well, it's just a power shot, maybe a shackle shot with that. Chen not able to help it. He is level three. Nice Alcar, locking in the Chen. Chen, where are you gonna go? You can't eat your way through, or can you? There, you don't. You, yeah, you're gonna die. There we go. Nice Alcar, taking the kill. Second kill for Silent on the second on the first night. Good night. As Nature's Prophet taking one down, Queen of Pain, taking down Queen of Pain. Not on. Oh, I thought it was on the bottom lane, but it was actually uh, right here. He's probably TPing after and getting the kill. Good one for that. Sorry I missed that one. Stupid kills happening at the same time. It's like very confusing. A lot of action here. The next KZ looking uh, in not uh, not really in favor right now. They need those levels up on their their hero. They need a, they need a hand of God definitely. Still level three. Gonna be level four soon, and that's why Chen is on this lane, getting some levels. Crystal Main same thing. She's level four as well, and they they just need some extra levels. I mean, if we see a, uh, what, what are we seeing? We're seeing a Age Depression, also level 4, so he's also going to try to get levels. He's going to try to pull this wave and making sure he gets levels that way. So we see supports trying to get levels. Oh, invisibility rune up on Ice Soccer, and there's nothing to catch him out with, or is there? They can't really see him now, can they? No, they can't. 
So which other support do they have? They have an Enigma, which I can probably compare with the supports of the Radiant. Of uh, Yeah, definitely. Level 6 though on Enigma. Black Holes there, I just got it. Also farming on that bottom lane. By himself. And of course, uh, here's the Ancient... Well, no, not, not really. But of course, there's two jungle heroes in this game. One on the Radiant, one on the Dire. But Enigma being able to farm so much faster than Chen is in the forest. It's just, uh, it makes it makes a difference on the gold graph too. It definitely makes a difference in the gold graph. 4k in favor now with only two towers. As we have Night Stalker setting up for a gank. Is he gonna try for a level 4 Chen? Nah, too risky with Crystal Main there also. Shield just got frostbite and then there would be a tower where people can TP to. It's too risky. He's gonna farm here. Not using his invisibility room for a gank. I wonder if Vigos would have gone for it or not. <laughs> I can't tell, I'm wondering. <laughs> Probably would have. Ancient Operation level 5 now, so he's, he's happy with that one. But still level 4 on these two. Is there gonna be able to take a Warlord? Always good to have. And of course, Beast Martina too. There's the Roar. Ancient Operation is gonna drop. Sunstrike is not even needed. And Crystal Main takes the last hit with a Nova. Melf is off going off on the Beast Master. Do they want to go for this though? They have a black hole. But it's just too risky. It's just too risky, two versus two versus three. It's just not possible. They might be able to try it as Vigos is here landing some nice shackles. That would be could be their idea. Oh, they wanna go for this. Crystal main throwing down a frostbite. It's not gonna be enough though, Crystal Main. There we go. Nice soccer taking the kill. And the Queen of Pain there now too. She just can't blink once. Axis. Silent, taking a lot of damage here. Is he gonna be able to get away? He's still nighttime, so he's still super fast. Oh, the boar was able to take off something, or is he? Yes, he was able to take off the the urn, but it was too late. He was too late and he's gonna be able to back out safely and he's not probably not even gonna back out, he's probably just gonna farm in the jungle. We have not seen the black hole yet, but then again, Enigma does not have, ima have any mana to do that. Goldcraft still ke being kept at 4k by next KZ. And they still don't have any towers down, so they're two towers behind and have a 4k difference and three kills. That is about right. That is about right. Because last hit wise, let's take a quick look at that. Hmm. Oh, did we just. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, Invoker going down here. Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden. Is she gonna be able to take away? To go away? No, she's not. She is definitely not gonna be able to shout going off on Vegas. Vegas! This is not Vegas, it's a nice stalker, but it's not Vegas. This is Vegas. Vegas is gonna take a frostbite. Vegas is gonna take a test of fate. He is gonna go down here. Is there gonna be a sonic wave? Yes, there is, and there is a kill. Or is it? Is it? Is he gonna be able to get away? I don't think he is. Pops to. Ah, uh, no. Beastmaster pops his bottle, but it's not enough. It's not enough. The Nye on the tower on the top lane, so that's something if five got back. And of course, they got the kill on the Invoker, which is nice to have, but they lost a Night Stalker for that, and they lost a Windrunner, and that is some big, tough losses for them. And I was checking out last hits, but I'm afraid to do so. Let's check out something different, the, m easier to see. Uh, gold per minute, and of course there's a tower difference, yes, so there will be some extra gold per minute up on M5 than there is on XKZ, uh, but still, uh, most gold per minute is on Nature's Prophet with almost 400 gold per minute. So he has been able to farm fairly safe as he's now in the jungle and he has his hand of minus, so able to farm even faster and of course, more importantly, able to get his levels up faster. Getting more experience from the creeps that he hands of Midas. Says, if that is a sentence. The invoker picking up on a robe of the Magi is going to be going for that drum. Vigos is going to be able to run away from that one. So you have a bird flying over some, and they spot the bird. So they're going to try to get it. Does it look like they are? Oh, they can't see it anymore. Yes, they are. There's they, there they see it. They see it. It flies over it. But it would be stupid to chase the bird all the way over the map. It's just too too much. Let's take a look if I miss some uh, some items, shall we? Winter on a building towards a four staff. Got a staff of wizardry complete. His separation ulti. It's gonna hit a creep. Fine. Shackle doesn't latch. Power shot does not hit. Night Stalker does hit on the Crystal the Main. On your life. Night Stalker versus the Crystal Main in one on one. What is gonna happen? I wonder. I wonder. What was Crystal Main doing there? She was gonna ward. Yeah, you can't ward when there's a there's a Night Stalker in your forest. There's even daylight. Top lane, in the meantime, Taro getting pushed out, going off on Enigma. Sunshine going there too. 
nice crowd for Neparation, but it's not going to be enough because PGG is still going to go down. And there's a Shadow Strike up on Asia Neparation. He's going to try to TP out. Is it going to be in time though? He is not going to be able to get away in time. Queen of Pain taking the kill and Cold Snap was there to stop him from TPing away. Which means that we have Vigos trying to get away from this gen. Doesn't land a shackle, but we'll be able to just walk away from that one. Just for main, why are you gonna go in with two versus one? There's a ball to Crystal Main, still level six. Well, it's level six now, I should say. Because of course she's not level five level four anymore, which she was a very long time. And Chen having his hand of gold now is a very happy Chen as well. As he's building towards his mechanism, only needs 400 more gold to get his recipe completed. And tier 1 tower looking to go down, looking to get pushed, even though, of course, Windrun is going to throw some power shot. Age separation ulti is not going to hit anything though. PGG's TP scared them off uh, too much. Too much. Beastmaster building towards the Necronomicon. Still not there though, not yet there. Gonna check if I missed some other items, because that's what I was doing. Queen of Pain, 2100, well, 2k gold. Probably gonna go for an ultimate orb as soon as she has it, and maybe for a sheep stick to just stop. Nice darker from chasing, most likely, unless she really wants to go for the Lincoln Sphere, but I don't think she is. I don't think she's gonna do that. Roshan has in fallen to the dying. Yeah, five has uh, Roshan in the meantime. Nice darker has, has picked up the Aegis. And a blink dagger up on Enigma by that Roshan, or at least up, it's in the donkey, it's getting brought to him right now. So he's gonna be a happy PJG because we don't, we haven't had any black holes yet, I believe. And he's not gonna be able to blink in a black hole. That's gonna be his dream black hole, to try to get those five people in that black hole. It's gonna be my dream black hole too, because then I can shout a bit more. Smoke. Where are they gonna go? Because they know Roshan is just taken down. Are they expecting PGG in that forest? He now has a blink dagger, so it's Ewa! No, Shout will be there sooner! <laughs> just a si shout and a test of face with it, but, you know, there was still a, s still a sound strike, just in case. Dyer's middle just in case. Under attack. Can never be too sure. Oh. Hand of God going through after the ultimate from the, from the Nature Dyer's Prophet. Fortification is gonna be popped, Age Separation is ulti is not gonna hit or actually hit on the Queen of Pain. Of course, oh, cold snap up on Vigos. Vigos, or Silence is in. Shackle Shot does not latch, and Queen of Pain is gonna be able to get sent home. But Sunshine is gonna kill off the Aegis, or at least gonna kill off Silence. But there's a crossbow, so Silence is not gonna be able to get away, or not gonna be able to chase anybody down. As Nature's Prophet might be in a bit of trouble, or at least. He was there amongst two heroes, but still, PGG wants to get that black hole. He wants to do it. Cold snap. He's not, he's not going to be able to do it. Nah, no, he wanted to. You saw the animation, but Queen of Pain making sure that he did not do that one. But M5 not done yet with this one. They're not done. Liberation there. Stride up on a gen. Get shackled to the Invoker. Taking a lot of damage. There we go. Windrunner taking the last hit. Age Liberation. This time hitting on the Invoker. And Blood Angel is going to get killed off by the Sonic Wave. Queen of Pain getting a double kill for that one. As Admiration is going to drop two. And that is M5 going in three on four. Three on four because their Windrunner was not there in time. And I believe. Was it four on four maybe in total? Maybe it was four on four, but still. If you're gonna dive that much, oh, it was three and four because Enigma was not there either. So three and four, not a very smart dive to make. Trying to get next K on uh, off guard, but Queen of Pain had not used her Sonic Wave yet, and she is indeed gonna go for that side fight. She's gonna go for that sheep stick on Queen of Pain, making sure that if there is carry potential on the Night Stalker, she is gonna be able to shut it down. And of course, she's gonna make sure that she's not getting silenced by doing that too. Or she's gonna make sure that there's no black hole, or she's gonna make sure that no shackle or any separation ulti, etc. You know, my guess is that Nice Tucker will be the first target. He did pick up over Club, so he's probably gonna go for that BKB. Gold Grub still in favor of M5, but it doesn't feel in favor of M5. We see, do see a drop towards Next AZ. I mean, it feels even. It feels like Next AZ is gonna be able to take team fights just as easily as M5 is taking on team fights on Next KZ. Next KZ is not letting, getting themselves, letting themselves get caught out. By M5. So there's gonna, not going to be a black hole for PGG to use. I mean, we saw that he wanted to, but he could just not get his opportunities. Gets a call, snap, invokers. You thinking about chasing this or just harassment? Just harassment. 
Even though Queen of Pain would have been there. Oh, Admiration's gonna find the Queen of Pain, but they both run off. Queen of Pain actually... No. So I was wrong. Not gonna go for that Sheepstick. It's gonna go for that Lincoln Spear. So, same same reason though. So she can't get Silence. So she can't get Shackled, can't get Malefist. Some TP's going into this bomb lane. Well... At least uh, Night Stalker getting away from there. Now seeing that it was a good choice because there would have been two heroes there and he doesn't see the third even though there would be would have been three. But he sees the two. So he thinks, okay, good good call there. And then five is... Well, the towers are even now. Gold is still in favor of M5, but like I said, it's going to be team fights right now. 19 minutes in. Experience graph. Still in favor of M5 as well. Not by that much, but then again, we have seen that. But it wasn't that much. And they step raising dying five times actually. Like because he is ahead on kills right now. And what is gonna be their plan out? I mean it's night time. So they should be doing something, but in next case he knows that it's night time, because they can see that as well. So they know that they should be extra careful. They know that they should be together, and we ha we are seeing them together. There's four people able to come to the rescue as soon as something happens on the middle lane. It is only Invoker that is fair fairly careless, uh, because he has that four stuff. He has his uh, ghost walk too, so he should be fine. He should definitely be fine. Hey, he's up on a Queen of Pain, a very dangerous rune to have on a Queen of Pain. She could already chase good before, but now she can, like, chase ultra good. As soon as she pops it then, because it's in her bottle, of course. Let's take a, a look at this. We have Windrunner also picking up a ultimate orb. Is probably going to go for that side of the to make sure the Queen of Pain doesn't TP out. And... A Enigma building towards a mechanism most likely picked up a headdress just now. Uh, four stuff of Windrunner, we saw that one already. Four stuff of Invoker, we saw that one already too. For the rest, it's not that much uh, interesting to say. Maybe Beastmaster and Economica still level one. We already saw the drums on the Invoker as well, so not really that much interesting here. Not really that much that uh, is different. Oh, that's that Haystrun. Queen of Pain fucking her Ace making sure that she's safe from the gank. The gank from a Night Stalker who's already bought as a BKB recipe, just to make sure that since it's nice time, he's gonna be, be a bit more reckless. He's gonna try to get kills. Um, but in case he dies, he already bought the recipe. And we see a nice, a nice, uh, we saw a nice drawing on the map indicating where M5 was hiding. And they are right, and they're not gonna go in for that one because they know they would not take that. They rather go in when they are outnumbering M5. That's what they have been doing so far. Proud up on the Chen. Are they going to be able to go for this one? Blink is there in time. Malif is going on. Chen is going to go down here so far. Stage separation. Ulti up out. But it was Wind from his power shot that finished it off. As PGG is taking a lot of harassment from Chen's creep. It's actually having to run away. I like really run away because this is very dangerous. Blink's away. TP's out. Sunstrike is not going to hit. Because the Sunstrike was uh, there. And PG blink to the other wide. side. It's a good blink out from him. In the meantime, top tier two tower is gonna get Dyer's pushed out. Cut is they're gonna take the last hit of that tower, and it looks gone. like uh, next KZ is gonna continue pushing until they force out some uh, some TPs. Maybe they thought that they are forcing out TPs now, or maybe they're uh, M5 doing the same thing on the bomb lane. They're not gonna be able to take this tower though, so that's gonna be the difference in this push. And does he have a blink there yet? No. So why are you trying to chase this? Oh, for staffing. Shout! Is it gonna be in time? No! He did not see him. He did not see him. Sends his access through the wrong forest. Nice play by Age Separation. Blood Angel getting away from that one. Even though it was, of course, barely, in theory. It seemed like it was barely, but apparently Beastmaster did not see him. Nice play. Broken got a kill off some creeps there. And uh, I believe Roshan should be back up soon. Well, two minutes time, two minutes time. Radiant and tier one tower gonna get pressured, press pressured, pushed, pressured. Radiant yes, on this uh, bottom lane. Tower is gonna drop very fast. There is no fortification for this one anymore. Uh, they are trading towers though because they also took down a tier one tower on the top lane. 
And there's the Lincoln Spirit complete. There's a shot this time on Blood Angel. And there's that black hole catching two heroes up next to the age separation go he'll be going through. Gets last in on the Crystal Main Sonic Wave though. Hitting PGG hard, but he's gonna try to get back to base as the blinker from Queen of Pain is gonna keep her safe and they are chasing down they are chasing down the invoker gonna get the kill Nation Prophet making sure of that nice shackle lashing ten to a creed ten is gonna go down to to a tree of course and Blood Angel is gonna TP home just in case Crystal Main just in case Queen of Pain is gonna show her face who so just TP TP'd out here. That is why I jumped to this bottom lane there. And that is a win for M5, or at least not a win, but at least they defended their tier 2 tower, got 3 kills to boot, and did not lose a single hero. Not even PGG was hit by that sonic wave. PGG has almost completed his m mantle style. Mount style? What? Huh? Mechanism is also starts with an M. If maybe he rather wants a pipe just to withstand those those shouts that he that Queen of Pain has been throwing at him. That would not be a bad choice either. TP from Fury is gonna come in. They want to try to get this Queen of Pain, but there's not gonna be a flow, there's not gonna be a shackle. Because there is a Lincoln Sphere doing its job for Queen of Pain. Wait, do you see though? Oh there they go. Is he gonna try to help push there, or is he just gonna leave it be? He might gonna try to push it there though, because everybody on if you see on the middle lane or on the top lane. Well, no, everybody on the middle lane, because uh, Beast must just TP'd in. Maybe they wanna push. Oh, we're gonna maybe see a fourth up now. Vigos is getting away from this one. Vigos is getting away from this one. Actually, looking at the stats, he has only died once so far, and of course, Winterhunter is a great hero for escaping. Oh, oh. Sunstrike, Enigma! No, Queen of Pain taking the last hit with that. Pain Sunstrike not killing him off, but making sure that Queen of Pain could, pay, could take the last hit for that one. Queen of Pain already has 1300 gold off again. And so the device indeed completed on the Nature Prophet. Did I say Nature Prophet? No, I said uh, Windrunner. Windrunner is also building that side of the device. Just needs the Void Stone. Uh, has it got the void stone? No, it's not got the void stone. So they will have two sheep sticks up on the dire soon. Able to sheep Queen of Pain or able to sheep her double. If one gets blocked by the Lincoln Sphere, they can sheep her again. And then, you know, useful. Or they could sheep also the Beastmaster who is getting out those, those annoying roars. If they can sheep him before he roars, then he is probably as good as dead. Even though he has that, that massive armor that he has. Which is, of course, very annoying. If you want to right click someone down, that is. Goldcraft still in favor of M5, not that much. Now it looks a bit higher than last time. Due to that last team fight, they are now 7,500 7, gold in favor, but well, almost. They're dropping down a bit. It looks like uh, they're gonna be able to take Roshan without any, any argument here. Next PSD does probably not know that they're there. They have no word up there. They might be wondering where they are on the map. But for now, they're just uh, they're just grouping up out of fear for g getting ganked. I would imagine. Night Darker is gonna be able to pick up the pick up the ages again. He's gonna scout out the the hog. <laughs> He's gonna get killed off by a vo void. Double damage. About to run out in the Night Stalker, so he can't really do anything with that anymore. Unfortunately for him. And, uh, well, next thing he might want to force out this this uh, this ages. They want to want they probably want to make sure that okay. Let's just go in there, see if we can kill someone and then back out. Maybe get the tower on the way out too. Because Nature's Prophet is not going to be there, or if he can be, he can teleport there of course. 2500 gold up on him already, we've been happily farming here. So it's continuously able to push. And it looks like uh, next KZ is going to be able to push this tower for a while at least. Attack. There we have si Oh, he's going to come in from the side, he's going to get a silence off on Queen of Pain in time, no. Yes, no. Backing off, power shot, forcing them back too. Beastmaster is still standing ready for a shout. Radiance top tower has fallen. But it's backing off now. In the meantime, their top tower has fallen. And they are gonna have to TP here to deal with that one. TP to the top lane. There we have admiration to the middle lane. Even Beastmaster being turned to a chicken. Getting his age separation ulti on him. And it's gonna go down so fast. Nature Prophet taking the last hit. Well deserved. Making sure that he stayed in, in place. And <laughs> Nice Sucker taking a lot of damage still from killing off that uh, Necronomicon warrior. It's gonna be chased by an Necronomicon Archer in the meantime. Nature's Prophet is gonna TP to the bottom lane where he's gonna continue to push oh, while the rest of M5 is gonna keep them busy with uh, 
with the mill tower. Focus fire. There is a fortification if they want to use it. There is a fortification. There we go. And uh, they're gonna go. There's Chief Dick Invoker. Invoker, is he gonna drop here? Holy Persuasion is there. That's a black hole, but Holy Persuasion saves at least Invoker's the only chance still left in the black hole. He is gonna die though. Windrunner making sure of that one, but two kills. Two kills for Queen of Pain. Two kills for, uh, for next KZ at least. Three now. Well, Age is being popped, of course. Queen of Pain is still gonna throw a Shadow Strike at him. Hoping that he can still kill him, but nah, not, she's not gonna chase that for the Shadow Strike. She's gonna TP. She's gonna attempt to TP. Nature Prophet still getting killed off on this one lane, so indeed three kills in total for next KZ. Nature Prophet getting killed by the last hit of the tower. Invoker Crystal Maiden and Chen there to help out to defend their tier 3 tower because the tier 2 tower was already gone. Tier 2 tower still standing though. No, not anymore. Radiance middle tower I was gonna say in the middle lane, but no. No, that's not happening. 1k gold in favor of M5. Looking strong. Experience looking strong also. Not strong that, that next case he's not gonna be able to get back from this one because they could. They definitely could. As we have a shout being used to kill off the Night Stalker during daytime. Cool snap was there too, he had no place to go. Necronomicon helping out. Necronomicon level 3 by the way, he just purchased uh, before the previous team fight after he died. So he died still able to use this shout to get a revenge up on uh, the Beastmaster. Is he gonna chase this? Vigot? Ha doesn't have a TP, turns Queen of Pain into a chicken. Focus, fire, Nature Prophet Ultimate helping out. Is he gonna be able to take us another chicken coming in from... Or oh, is he gonna be able to get away from this, from these Necronomicon Warrior taken by Nature Prophet? So she will be able to get away from that one. Necronomicon Archer is not gonna be able to do it anymore. She's gonna TP away. Uh, and then we should not say chickens because it's piglets of course, but Admiration was there fast enough to get a second piglet up on the Queen of Pain, where uh, Winter used her shackle very clever for the to get the cool and up on the Linker Sphere, so she could she could hack Queen of Pain and focus fire. So good good kill for M5. And unfortunately for next KZ, losing that Queen of Pain. One of those gankers, one of those killers that they really need if there's gonna be pushing from M5. Oh there's the Malefit, is it gonna be a cold snap though? Sunstrike! Doing a lot of damage. It's gonna walk a different lane than expected, I would imagine. And it's gonna TP out. Oh no, cold snap! They have vision, they have a hawk! They're gonna kill off PGG! It's gonna go down here! One more right click needed, Invoker taking the last hit with its four spirits! And that hawk! That deadly hawk! Able to get the vision! Able to get the cold snap. It was. It would have been such a, you know, such a good escape. It's just a decent escape. In the meantime, top lane, top lane Windrunner still getting a kill on the Crystal Main, getting a chicken again, doing the same thing again. Queen of Pain is gonna go down again. Age Separation taking that last hit as uh, BKB is now up on the Nature Prophet, and they know Beastmaster might be here somewhere. No, they don't. They don't. They're backing out. Windrunner picking up a Minter Hammer. Is she gonna go for a Desolator? I think she might be. They have Night Stalker picking up an anchor himself in the meantime. Having that radar vision there in nighttime. No gangs incoming on him, or at least not when he can see it. Shout is depression. One more last hit. There he gets it. Shackle shot not lasting. Cold snap on SS. And he has the Necronomicon Warrior going on him too. And that's just look at his health. He's gonna be able to pick up a haste room though. He's gonna be fine. Or is he? Access, on strike. Not hitting. He's still gonna be chased. Oh, there they go. They focus on Windrun instead. They do. These do a lot of damage. If you wonder, okay, why, why are they running away from a creep? But these just do a lot of damage. Cold graph. Still in favor. Well, of course, still in favor. But keeping it by being kept even by next KZ, as they have been getting some kills now. Of course, the Queen of Pain has died twice already. Uh, but still, look at that. This shows it more even. I mean, just shows it better. Experience graph. Uh, as soon as they took those kills on PGG and on uh, Age Separation, or, well, actually, they took them on the Windrunner and on, uh, and on it, well, on the Windrunner. Experience Graph shot back. Blink Dagger off on the Beastmaster will make a def difference too for, uh, for next KZ. He's going to be able to get those initiations out. He's going to be able to not having to be force staffed to be able to get a shout out, but he's just going to be able to blink in, shout, and get the ro show on the road. 
which they probably want. And I have to say, even though we have seen black holes from PGG, there's not been more than one or two heroes being caught in it. So I'm still hoping for that black hole from PGG where he gets like four or five if he's really lucky. Level 3 Necronomicon on the Beastmaster. We already saw that one. Why am I saying that? Stupid. Vegas almost uh, almost enough gold for a second um, in through hammer. And he's not going to be able to catch out the Queen of Pain this time because she TP'd away. He wanted to though. He wanted to shackle to get that Linker Sphere on cooldown and then sheep and then kill her. That's as simple as it would be. The kill graph is very even right now. As there's been more than a kill per minute. 41 kills in 34 minutes. Smoke up for next KZ. Pick up that invisibility run or not? They could, if they really wanted to. But then they run the risk of M5 seeing that the invisibility rune is going to be picked up. They only see the Queen of Pain now. Well, they don't see it because they don't have a ward, but in theory. In theory, next KZ is thinking, okay, if they saw me, if they saw Queen of Pain, then they only saw Queen of Pain, nobody else. They're not gonna take the bait so far though. Oh, Enigma. Enigma has his blink though, as his Eidolons uh, cannot scout out smoke units, but will get scouted out. The smoke had run off. And then uh, next KZ looking all ready for action, but not finding anything yet. So Enigma has a. Uh, oh, this could be a blink and initiation blink shout. There we go. No! Blink from PGG was just as fast! Nice blink, making sure that he did not get that roar. Tower will still go down, but he did not get that roar. And that would, would have been a secure kill for next KZ. If they would have gotten that roar after that blink. Lightning fast fingers. Knowing what would happen. Of course, we know what would happen, then he would know what would happen too. So Stalkart is going to change, try, try his lock on admiration. He's going to be... Nah, he's, gonna, he's turning into a chicken. He will be able to get out of there in time. TP there. It's just Stalka twice now, he's not been getting luck to get the kill. As there's a lot of pushing power going on, uh, being made on uh, the bottom lane. But PG is gonna back off. Because he wants the Malefice on that Queen of Pain, maybe. But that's the Lincoln Spear. Is he gonna use his black hole for this one? No, it's on the way. PGG pops his mechanism, but he's gonna go down here regardless. There we go, gets a knife and a Nature Prophet. Good call. Why did he go in there? Well, he did not see the Queen of Pain, obviously. Queen of Pain using her invisibility rune is gonna be able to, to get out because there's nobody Double here damage. that is counting on someone that's invisible. Did he know she's there? I don't think so. Oh, cold snap. Landing, there's the BKB. Night Stalker is gonna be able to get away. Is he gonna be able to get away? He is gonna be able to get away as the shackle did not latch on Queen of Pain because her Linkus was already off cooldown again. Short cooldown it has. 20 seconds. Roshan almost back up, so that's why we see these teams fighting in the vicinity of this one. That's why we see these teams being so aggressive with warding. De-warding. Well, of course, she can be de-warding with those Necronomicons because Necronomicon Archer has a true sight. Somewhere. War Warrior maybe had it. Well, then we won't be able to see it anymore. Power shot, just checking if, if, if the if Roshan is being attempted. I mean, of course, M5 could use Roshan as a bait because that's basically the best place that you can have to get a good black hole out. Because you'll know that most people will be standing here. But maybe they'll just take Roshan themselves. I do think it's gonna be expected though. Because, you know, the talk here. They're able to see everything. So they know when they can go in. There we go. There we go. Roar going up. SS is going to be the first one to go down. He is being forced out. He's going to be able to do it. Is PGG going to be able to get a black hole? If he doesn't know where because he doesn't see any heroes that he could get off. Chen taking the kill on PGG and Nigma no black hole for him. As we have Emperation going to get caught up before he can TP out. Nation Emperation is still going to hit all three heroes but it's not going to be enough because next case he is going to take this Roshan. Roshan is down and Aegis is going to be picked up by... Queen of Pain, I would, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Immortality. And there would be a cheese now too, I, I thought. Invoker? Yeah, Invoker having the cheese. Top tower. Invoker who also has a level 3 Necronomicon. And of course the Necronomicon are good to have on XKZ. Um, the aura from the Beastmaster working on the Necronomicon Warriors as well, I believe. Not just the Warriors, Archers too. 
So two level three Necronomicons, and of course you're gonna have Power Shot go through. You're gonna have a Midnight Pulse. You're gonna have an H Prophet Ultimate. That's a lot of AOE damage right there. Uh, that if if uh, if M5 accidentally kills those off, it's just 800 pure damage. It's gonna be done to you regardless. Queen of Pain, still picking up an old club. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be turned to a chicken, and she is gonna go down here. Same story happening again. This unlatching the shackle, and there we go. Age is popped, and do they have another chicken? Is there gonna be a TP from Fury to get this? Nope. There's gonna be a chance to go uh, to chase this though. Queen of Pain, there too on the chase. Wind run. Only slowing down a second. Tracker shot doesn't latch. Queen of Pain there too, again. They really should not want to go there. Power shot. Some damage to the creep. Giving vision as well. Oh, they still want to go over this because here's a Nickel once again. He still wants to do his black hole. Well, he has a cooldown on it now. Shackle going off on the Queen of Pain, so she is Shackle for a while. BKB on liberation. In the meantime, we have PG once again trying to get away. Shackle of his sheep going off on the uh, Invoker while Windrun is being picked up by the Queen of Pain. Aberration is going to go down here. Two gents in care of that one, and then five. And five losing another hero. They just profit by his back though. Windrunner buys back. And they're gonna defend this tier two tower, but they lost three heroes just now and we're we're forced to use two buybacks. And 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 Nigma has to walk all the way back because he unfortunately uh, did not die and got his buyback. He has to walk back and then has to get his health back and only then can he join back into the fight. Next KZ able to make this gold difference turning into their direction. Still AK in favor in of M5, but you would not say it if you saw the fights like they are going right now for M5. Able to not take the advantage so far with the gold difference they had. Shackle latching on Invoker. Is there gonna be a follow-up on this one though? I don't think they'll be turned to a chicken. Hand of God will help out though. Malefis on an invoker, but he's gonna be able to force staff out. Does in five want to go for this though? They do. Void on the Crystal Main is to meet that on the sideline. We have Invoker being turned into a chicken, but Crystal Main is gonna be dropped off here first. As there's a shackle not landing on the Invoker. Invoker! Is he gonna go down here? Yes he is. We're trying to make sure of that one with a power shot as there is a chase. There is a chase and five taking back what's theirs, taking the kills back. Are they gonna be able to chase it? It's nighttime. They will be able to find the chat void there. There's a force after low ground, but Malefis will be there from the Nigma too. And Aberration TPing in. That is a dead chin. But at least he lured the attention away from the rest of his team, making Queen of Pain able to get away. And of course Beastmas was already not there anymore. So we see the gold we probably dropped down a bit towards the 8k again. Not as much as we saw it go up for him for uh, for next KZ though a moment ago and the experience graph shows it better I would guess because they got so much experience from killing off those M5 heroes just now it is in favor of next KZ right now and okay they will still still go towards the zero but it will not drop below the zero as there's a smoke up for M5 and if this goes late game neither has a definite hard carry right now I mean everybody has died more or less. Vigo still having uh, least kills up on his Windrunner. Two kills, nine, two, oh, sorry, least deaths on his Windrunner. Two, ki two uh, deaths and nine kills. So he's probably having the better stats right now. As uh, we see, well, Invoker having 14 assists actually. Unlucky Invoker. Oh, Black Hole, they want that Queen of Pain so badly. A separation ulti is gonna hit, and that's Queen of Pain popping her BKB and gonna be able to get out. Shackle is still there on the Beastmaster though, and it's turned to a Piglet too. They don't have the damage to go off though. Four Staff is actually forcing him out of the base. So I think it was a team, team Four Staff anyway. Enigma getting picked off, and Roker taking that last deal, and a five back on the run. Blink out from Beastmaster as he wants to do something, but bears the TP out already, and he is not gonna be able to find anybody anymore. Uh, but getting the Enigma. Who got his black hole, got his Queen of Pain in that black hole, but they did not manage to land a kill on their Queen of Pain. That was what they were going for. That is what they were going for, and they did not get it. And I'm gonna take a sip of water. Because I'm thirsty. This game is, uh, well. It, it is still so even if Voker turned into a picnic, but mostly so that Vigos can get away from there because she needs to run, Vigos. There, you're gonna be able to run. Cold snap there, Axe flying through. She's not gonna be able to get away from this one. She is gonna go down. If Voker taking the last hit with his uh, Necronomica warrior. Against me stands in the meantime, Admiration doing his job. Conti oh, what the hell? How does he get almost 6k gold already? Well, already, okay. He has been farming for fairly freely. Oh! Cold snap is in time, he's not gonna be able to TP away. 
Frostbite there, two to hold him in place, BKB is being popped, is he gonna be able to get away from this one? He's gonna try to TP away, he's gonna try to TP away, is he gonna be able to do it? And yes he is! Barely! But he gets it! Still has his gold! Otherwise he would probably reach my back anyway, but, or no, it's just normal buyback because he just has the gold to do that. But still, Nature's Prophet being able to keep his gold secure. Wonder what he's gonna go for next, probably gonna sell as a uh, Ring of Bacillus for that one. Maybe other question. PGG looking for the milk record. Let's see. Nah, well, he could be. He, he, got already, he already got one kill, though. He already got one kill. If you come for the milk Peace. record, you cannot have a kill. You cannot have a kill, and you have to have 23 deaths and then still win. Pause. Beastmaster. Didn't have anything else yet up. P also picked up a drum though, because Invokers, I guess his stacks run out. No, he still has it. Two drums up on the Radiant side. And has a 2900 gold. So might be going for that BKB. It still has only his normal boots though. Just pointing it out. Only his normal boots. Queen of Pain has a BKB. We already saw that one. Have a Lincoln Sphere as well. We have Invoker. 3700 gold, he wants to have that gold for buyback, or just wants to be able to buy that BKB off the bat, which he already can do, because he already got that Ogre Club. Or maybe he wants to have enough gold to, uh, oh, hello Invoker, silent, cold feet, is he gonna be able to get away from this one, four stop, saving him, and separation ulti is gonna hit, and there we go, that was the last kill, last, last hit, separation was there too, to help him out, turn him into a piglet. Queen of Pain, going for admiration once again, shout there too, will he go down this time, it looks like he will. And he there he went his gold, there went his gold. He lost 600 gold over that, but that, who cares? He still has 600 gold. We have a disconnect from Crystal Main, so we'll probably see a pause soon as we have Enigma. He has his invisibility room, as his invisibility room was being spotted because, of course, there is Necronomicon Warriors Beastmaster getting a double kill. Who cares about this disconnect from Crystal Main? Four versus five, let's take it. Let's take it. 3600 gold up on the Beastmaster. 3100 gold up on the Queen of Pain and the Chen only one without that much gold has also picked up a pipe now uh, but has got 600 gold and not really enough to buy back but still it's not that bad take a quick look at the levels for now we have level 16 on the Chen that's why I wanted to check level 16 Asian Depuration level 16 Enigma as well you can probably check better with the experience graph a bit in favor of next KZ and it's probably gonna be the supports that have that favor it's Crystal Main is level 16 as well hmm hmm Two level 16, yeah, there's three levels, three people above level 20, and there's only two people above level 20 on M5. Well, Vegas wants to go again. We see Nightstalker picking up a Javelin. He's probably going to go for that MKB. Or no. No, he's probably going to go for Basher, actually. I was thinking, what else is being built by a Javelin? But that's a Basher, of course. Uh, he also has a Gem of True Set, so apart from being, of course, the radar. Uh, already with his agonims at night, he's now going to be a radar with true sight. So that is a uh, well. It's going to be annoying only for Invoker mostly, and of course for those gems, you can pick out the gems everywhere. Don't see the gold craft, but it's still uh, it's probably around uh, around 6k, probably there and about. So you can check out the gold for minutes while we wait. Anyway, that's what these pauses are good for. That's the only reason they're good for also. Highest level, which we already saw just now, is Nature's Prophet on level 22, is also the highest gold per minute of 556 gold per minute. And there's nobody above, four, well, there's nobody above 400, 500 gold upon the Dire, Radiance, sorry. But there is Queen of Pain on 478 gold per minute. She has 9 kills and 8 assists. Has been there for 17 out of 30 kills that have been done on their en enemies. And it is the highest. No, Invoker has been there for more. Invoker been there for 19. That's of course also because of the Sunstrike global presence, as we will see. Nature's Prophet having a high number there too. Uh, 16 for him. And there's 17 on the Wind Runner. Okay. 16 also for Night Stark. Okay, that. Well, then my theory did not did not work out. That's a shame. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. So you're gonna need. Uh, 
What are we gonna need? We're gonna need a BKB up on Enigma who's building towards it. That's cool. So he can do his his black hole. Uh with the only chance of getting interrupted being the Beastmaster. Uh with his shout. With his roar. But then he just has to make sure that he gets catches the Beastmaster too, and then it will be fine. Uh, that is what M5 means, because at this moment, next KZ is looking a bit stronger. With M5 still having the gold advantage, next KZ has been able to actually take a fight and then go back into the base of an, of M5. Well, M5, when they took a fight, they are taking it at the times where next KZ is running away, so they're taking, not really forcing the team fights, but uh, not and when they try to force a team fight, they don't. They lose the team fight, and then next KZ will be able to push up, and then they will get some of next KZ's hero when they are on the way out, but not really taking their own team fights, and they need to be taking their own team fights to take down those tier 3 towers. Because that's the way you're gonna do it. And of course they'll have Nature's Prophet with his 6k gold, able to push out all the time. We still have a wait from uh, Stalka. But he's... Well, is he gonna be able to, to carry this? That's a question. Queen of Pain is probably gonna be able to carry it. I mean you have Queen of Pain and Beastmaster, two dangerous hero on the on the Radiant side. And for the dire side, okay you have you have your Night Stalker. Uh but he is now building towards a more tanky build, of course with the Basher that will be different uh, will be different and Vigos is gonna go for that death later as I'm expecting it to have uh, a Mithra Hammer there we go on the donkey which there is indeed. So there will be more damage up in there too but is it gonna be enough? Are they going to be able to out-carry out the Beastmaster and Queen of Pain? That's the question. And right now, I'm not sure. But then again, neither is next KZ, neither is M5, and that's what the fight is about. I mean, if we already knew that answer, then why still fight? As it looks like, next KZ just wants to go for that tier 3 tower in the middle. Only Beastmaster is a bit behind, but he will be able to blink... Uh, and get here faster, or, or just make his team wait for him. And we have a draw on the minimap. PGG just uh, drawing right here, making sure that everybody knows where it is. Oh, Age Deprivation Ulti is gonna hit. It's gonna hit on three heroes even. We'll probably force them back somewhat. As uh, Night Stalker is gonna be here, making sure that the creeps are not here anymore. But the tower is still taking a lot of arrangements. Sacrifice is not legend. Power up going through. BKB is popped by Queen of Pain, and she will be safe. Of course she was going to be safe, but look at this tower, taking so much damage already, as we have... No, why was there a blink? We have nothing. And there we have PCGs back up, they should Prophet back up again too. They should Prophet still with 6500 gold now. I really wonder what he's going to go for. I really wonder. Is he going to go, is he going to go for an MKB? Is he going to go for a Desolator as well? Is he gonna go for? I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Deadless. Yeah. Radiant. Oh, I mean, uh, rapier. 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 Or maybe I have Scotty. You know, I'm just calling out all the heroes. Just calling out all the heroes, as we have no gank. Well, we have a gank dust there. But then again, are you really gonna gank when there is a uh when there's a night stalker there too? Oh age deprivation. There we go, he's gonna be able to force that himself away in time, but is it gonna be enough? There we have a shackle on Stalkat. BKBs are popped all around. Stalkat is gonna be the first one to go down. Age deprivation dominating beast must bite back instantly though. More BKBs are being popped. Vegas is gonna get taken down. Crystal Maid just stands there doing her ultimate. Well, the black hole was there, catching only Queen of Pain once again. Queen of Pain does go down, so they do have that one. Pipe up on the Radiant, as it looks like they're backing off, or at least if Boker forcing himself to low ground, Vigos is gonna be stuck in a uh, crossfight. Is he gonna be able to do anything? He's gonna try to run away, but no, it's still gonna back here. It's gonna be able to do a roar, and Beastmaster taking the last hit on the wind run. The cold snap is there on the next problem, who changed his mind about trying to TP. He's gonna try to force that himself, and is gonna try to get away. He's gonna, and now nah, Axis will clear out the trees. Deafening Blast will make sure he's not getting away, and that's a buyback for the Nation Prophet because he still had his 6k. He still had his, well, he still has 5.6k now. Age Deprivation is gonna hit again, it's not hitting anything. At least no heroes anyway, as Beastmaster taking a cold feed, it's gonna go for his Enigma. He will be able to take it down too, but four staff forcing PGG in, in safety. Axis are not gonna be able to do it. PGG is gonna be able to get away. 
But what are they getting? What are they giving away in return? Invoker. Invoker can still go for this tier three tower. TP coming from PGG again though. Even though he still so low on HP, but Ma wanted to do his Malefits. Cold feet were there, and they took down Mantis on his Invoker. If it was Mantis, because we don't know that for sure, because they have weird names. M5 able to defend the tower. Able to defend the tower, forced out a buyback for Beastmaster. Of course, they use their own buybacks as well, but still able to defend their base, and that is what matters. They're still ahead in the gold graph. That little, little, um, team fight it was not little at all. Uh, but with the buybacks, they were able to take this team fight, and that is what counts now. I mean, that gold up on everybody does not matter. It does not matter if you if you if you can't take a base. It does matter if you can buy back, and there we have a Daedalus being built in the Nature Prophet, so he spent his gold. He knows, okay, I'm, I can't buy back anyway in another three minutes, another four minutes. So, let's so just buy Daedalus and make down. sure, well, make sure that I don't die, die, because he picked up an Aegis. And, of course, he's gonna be able to farm it up very soon anyway. As soon as the cooldown is over for his buyback, he will have the gold again, don't worry. Del uh, well, Desolator up on Vigas right now. Power shots clearing off the creep wave. Looks like M5 wants to go for this or wants to catch out some heroes as they're gonna TP to uh well admiration is gonna TP to the forest and gonna get joined there by Vigos and SM2. Not wanting to push his base yet. They wanna take a team fight first because they know they weren't in the favor now because Invoker was back up again by the time they reached the base. Invoker picked up a BKB as well. Let's see if we see some new items up on the radiant side. 3400 gold up on the beast mouse. He probably wants to save it maybe a bit more until he either can instantly buy a BKB or until he needs to buy back. Queen of Pain picking up a new ultimate orb. It's gonna be having enough money to buy back as well as soon as there's a new team fight going. That's what she was going for. I might be going for that cheap six steel that I talked about earlier just to be able to get a sheep. She's been sheep so much she just wants to do it back. That's the reason. That is the reason, mark my words. Well, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm right. Generation. That's what I do here, sitting and hoping that the stuff I say isn't total bull, bull crap. I try. Goldcraft, still in favor of M5, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly, but, you know, that was sarcasm, just in case you didn't notice. Uh, but still, it's being kept even, and it's not growing really that much. I mean, it's not been below that 12k mark as it was earlier. Oh, gank. No, yes, there we go, admiration there, but no, no sheep in time, Blink was there first. Windrunner would have been there too, around the corner, oh if the sheep would have, would have, mattered, would have uh, succeeded. Did not even pip, pop her uh, Blink Sphere so either. Beastmaster picking up a BKB, so indeed was waiting until he could buy that up off the bat. And uh, making sure that uh, he got it before he died, making sure that he's not gonna die. I also, of course. They're gonna defend the middle lane. As M5 is just looking for opening, they're looking to catch someone out. But so far, look at next KZ. All five on the same lane. All five together. Only Queen of Pain was uh, out of position earlier. Crystal Main taking some farm. What does Crystal Main have? It's also building an economical level one so far. They're gonna need those to push in. Because what can you do if you stand like at the bottom of this base and you can't push in because there's hero there, heroes. You just send in your Necronomicon warriors, let them hit the tower and the tower will go down eventually. It might not, you might not get it straight away but you'll force out some fortifications and push them back and if they kill off the Necronomicons then they'll have to be ready to take a lot of damage for it and that could put you at, at an advantage too. As Basher is now completed on the Night Stalker and he has the cheese as well. Next KZ, everybody on the top lane. The M5 is split out though. We have Windrun on the bottom lane pushing out. What's the donkey doing? Oh, he's, he's brought in sp bringing smoke. Okay. Double degradation. Double degradation. Seriously, Nation Prophet? Picking up a double damage and calling it double degradation? Stupid. Sorry. That's M5 is moving towards the opposite side of where next KZ is, so no clash is gonna happen anytime soon. And they're also gonna smoke. Because Donkey is bringing them that one. BKB on Enigma. I'm just checking if I see any new, any new items. But it doesn't seem like I am. We saw the letters. See? 
Buyback is off cooldown again, and bam, 4k gold up on the Nature Prophet. That's how you do it. And the smoke for next case, he didn't end well, because of course, they did not catch out anybody, and they're just gonna have to do a TP back, have to walk back to uh, force back everybody here. As uh, there is a smoke up on M5, but once again, they're not really gonna be able to, f to find anybody. Definitely not. Because everybody's staying close together, because right now, Right now, it's not about gold difference. It might be slightly about experience difference, but since there is basically no experience difference, it's not matter. Oh, Dalkite out of position. Pops his BKB, wants to go for this. He's looking for a target. Looking for someone who gets caught out, and it's gonna be PGG. Pops his BKB, but still gets shot on because that goes through BKB, and he's gonna go down. Pops his back, but it's not gonna be enough. And now, next case, he has the advantage of being four versus five, and they wanna take something back. They wanna go for something. They might wanna push this all the way through. Forced out a buyback from Enigma that he does not have. Going to the bottom lane to kill off uh, another squishy hero, Age Separation. Looking very squishy. Admiration knows what's gonna happen though. He's gonna stay there. He's gonna stay back. Oh, Age Separation. He's gonna take a repent. He's gonna go down here. Blood Angel. And the TP away was there from the Nature's Prophet who did not want to be there anymore. Blood Angel. Just making sure. Maybe he just stood there on purpose. Maybe he just stood there on purpose, taking that va taking the attention away from the top lane. That could be very much possible because why el why else would he stay there? Look at the tier three tower. And the siege creeps are still taking it. Then Queen of Pain, not being able to catch out on the wind runner because her TP was faster than uh, her chase. And look at this tower, 90, 90 HP left. Next time they do this, oh, he's gonna deny it. 13 HP. He's gonna leave 13 HP left. What? Yes? Really? Okay. Just uh, to be able then, if someone comes in, to be able to deny it before it gets shot at, but get, that's gonna be tricky. Or to be able to make sure that it goes to a creep? Maybe? Nah. I don't know why. Can't think of a good reason at this time. 4.1k gold up on the Queen of Pain. It's also having enough gold again already for a... Uh, I mean, the buyback cooldowns are now off again. And both teams can be looking for something again. Can be looking for kills. Can be a bit more aggressive. Knowing that they still would have the buybacks as if a fight did happen. Gonna see Nightstalker maybe caught out, but he, there's no trees here. And he, of course it is night time and he's able to see everybody here. We would have Roshan back up in four minutes again. Queen of Pain finding Enigma, but Enigma blinking out safely. Still, still takes a shout, but... It's not gonna be in time. Next KZ, not having everybody on the bottom lane because Chen is not there, but he is of course all present with his hand of God and everybody's gonna TP to this bottom lane where there is another push in and there's the TP or there's a deny from Queen of Pain. So that will mean a naked barracks on this bottom lane and that is when I was gonna say, well, Windrun is gonna not be able to TP away, well, not, not gonna die here. She's gonna be able to TP away, that was my point. but. Right now, M5 has got a lot more openings, or at least, well, one extra, you know, here. Uh, but what they can do is, of course, they have a native profit. They can definitely split push, and even if they all dive this bomb lane and all go for this tier three tower, they can send their profit to tier to make sure that he pushes the top lane. And if they run in there at the same times, the native profit will be able to do a lot of damage to that to that to this barracks. And even if M5 dies, they would still have their buybacks if an XKZ is pushing afterwards. But they would have a barracks, so at this point, those kind of dives are worth it, because that ki those kind of advanta advantages are gonna matter. PGG is just gonna be harassed by a tornado, but that's all. That is all. Oh, TP is in. They wanna get the screen of pain. And Roar is there though, Vigon, is he gonna go down? Yes he is, Invoker Slung Strike making sure of that and Admiration has to run away. Stra Shadow Strike going off on him though, he doesn't have a TP yet. He doesn't have any TP, he doesn't have a TP scroll, he doesn't have a TP spell. He's gonna try to run for it, but what are you doing? There we have TP in two seconds, but it's not enough, pops his ages. Will he have enough time? There will be no BKB. There will be a BKB on Queen of Pain though. And there's the TP from Nature Prophet. He's gonna be able to back out. And PGG is still taking a lot of harassment here. Taking a Shadow Strike. He's not gonna be able to blink away. There's the Creep Wave. There's also Blood Angel trying to help out. 
Mechanism is pop dead. Oh, Sonic Wave doing so much damage, killing off the Enigma as Asian Apparition is not going to be able to get away from this one. Gets turned to a piglet. Zack Peter Payne just uh, bought up on him, and Admiration is going to go for. <laughs> Well, it's gonna go for Stalker, actually like, turns him to a piglet, but it's Shadow Strike, so it's gonna be not fast enough to do anything with that. And look at his gold! Look at his gold! Hand of God! Hand of God. A is gonna be killed off here! Invoker taking the last hit, and this could be what, what next case he wanted. A gank from M5 on that top lane was not worth it because they lost four heroes there. As Windrunner lost. They lost a Windrunner, they lost an Enigma. They lost an Age Prophet, they lost and lost an Age Depression. And it's only SS that did not die there. So in fact that it was a team fight, team gank, and they did not gain any kills. And this will give the advantage to XKZ. And they pi they are piping up, they're gonna go in. Fortification is there. Is there gonna be enough to do? There's not gonna be a black hole because Enigma is still dead for 50 seconds. Age Depression is gonna hit only do so much, but they want these barracks. Shackle, latching Invoker to the Chen, good Shackle. Are they gonna be able to do it? Dalkat blinking in, Vigo's getting shouted at. Is he gonna be able to do enough damage before she gets out of it? Yes, she is. Crystal Maid taking a double kill, killing off the Windrunner, killing off the Asian Operation, Queen of Pain, taking the kill on Asian Prophet. Silent is not gonna be able to get away from this one. He buys back though, but Barracks still goes down. There's that black hole on the Queen of Pain. Again, on Queen of Pain only, she is gonna go down this time though. Holy Persuasion not being there in time. Tornado might still kill Enigma off. He's gonna go down, there we go. Evoker taking the kill for that one. Stalk got still on the base, Chen still on the base. There's still one more, they're not, they're not done yet. Everybody's still on the base as the GG is called because only Night Stalker left up for M5. Only Night Stalker left up on M5 and they are gonna call the GG which means this will be a 2-0 in favor of next KZ. Cut. Stalkat. Is he go? Oh, Stalkat, sorry. SS. Wow, it's also an S. Diamond. I just want to see. He bought that. Well, they should probably bought back, of course, but I don't think he bought anything else. Before he died. Well, we're gonna see. Uh, this was at least this was a Ghost to League match. There were two Ghost to League matches at least, where next KZ were able to take uh, was able to take both points for these matches as they won both in this hour long match in three seconds. And uh, I'm Shaver. I make Ghost to Gamers cast. Or go check out Ghost to Gamers dot net for all your esports information as well as uh, Dota 2 as all other kinds of esports you would be interested about. Interesting, interested in. Wow. That's all fine. Uh, and you can follow me on ShiverGaming.com on my website. Uh, there's all my information uh, where you can find me on uh, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and stuff like that. As I'm just going to check. I know there was nothing else bought up on Admiration. Maybe he bought a different... Yeah, he bought a new BKB to have 10 seconds again. But it did not help him. It did cost him a lot of gold. But then again, he had that gold to spend. So it's all fine. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. I am going to drop to a different overlay because...